hi guys what is up welcome to the vlog my name is Andrea Johnson if you're new here Reiki master teacher practitioner energy worker all the good things all the good vibes so today um, I'm starting off the vlog on a Thursday and it is because I am doing a Reiki session right now so I thought it would be fun to vlog and kind of just do a little recap um, it's like a Reiki energy session so we'll be working with some crystals today and uh, some sound so uh, I'm not gonna film it but I'll, I may do a recap afterwards um, so I've already been getting messages about the client um, and what she needs so that's kind of um, neat I like to I like when that happens but I arrived about 20 minutes before um, just so I could prep the room I could get myself center and just you know chill out um, anyway but I thought this weekend would be fun and to start the vlog today because tomorrow is my the start of my birthday weekend so yes I'm a Virgo uh, I have all the Virgo traits uh, Unfortunately, unfortunately, but um, we are going on vacation this weekend back to Eureka Springs, but hopefully this time um, it doesn't rain. So if you watch my other vlogs, you know that I went to Eureka Springs before and it rained the whole time and so I didn't really get to whip my camera out uh, because I didn't want to get it wet. So hopefully it's a wonderful weekend i will vlog it for you guys and i wanted to do kind of like a prep with me video like a vacation prep like i did last time but this time do more of a prep so uh we're gonna do a little self-care vlog and yeah i'll take you guys along for the ride so let's get this party started hello hello it is friday and i just got off work so i did a half day today so now i'm at home and yeah so last night uh you saw my reiki session it went beautifully uh, there was so much energy going through i was like vibrating so hard i got really good like messages we had a really nice discussion afterwards um it was actually it went it was an hour session so you i do energy work for about an hour i did and it was more than just a reiki session so it was kind of like an intuitive energy work session it's more of what i'm calling these things um so i used like crystals and then a drumming and then i did sage and palo santo i kind of alternated between the two uh with the chakras so that helped out quite a bit and um then I ended the session with a drumming, a shamanic drumming session. And she she was like, my whole body was vibrating. And I'm like, yeah, it's some good shit. So uh, yeah, it was extremely healing for her and for me as well. And then post session is when all of the channeling really comes in. Uh, when I communicate what I got out of the session for her, uh, the healing of where the energy went in the chakras, and then just like whatever we talk about, um, I always set the intention that my higher self really take over and say what needs to be said um, And then I kind of go off of their feedback see how much They're wanting to talk about things and I always kind of let them lead with it because I don't want to Force somebody to talk about some things that they don't want to talk about if they're not ready to talk about it um, That is between them and the, their higher selves and outside of the session so anywho, um, it was great. She was a beautiful client. Um, she, she, I, I've been seeing or having more clients lately who are just starting to get into their spiritual practice, which is awesome. So it's been, the post session has been very long because, and the pre-session, pre-session, um, because I go over everything that they need to understand if you guys haven't already seen my videos now i'm very passionate that i want my clients to understand the energy um even if they don't fully understand it in that moment uh they will probably circle back around to it later and just be like it clicks like it clicks for them in some way down the line and that's kind of the intention i set for them uh if they don't get it in that session Anywho, and I'm rambling on long enough, but today's agenda, uh, since I have a half day off work, I am taking a self-care 
today. I am finally going to dye my hair. Yes, I do it myself, but I am gonna go get it cut, just bang trimmed, hopefully it goes okay. Get my eyebrows done um, and then do like an Ulta haul because I am all out of makeup. So, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. Let's get this self-care vlog going. Okay, so here is our consistency here. I might try to mix it up a little bit more. I let it sit because I feel like it just like develops the longer you let it sit. And I know like I've made the mistake before of not letting it sit long enough, applying it to my hair before it's been developed and it being a brighter color. So, oh shit, okay, anyway. Like seriously, ladies, I don't know if this is self-care or if this is like self-torture. That sucked. I forget each time how bad it sucks, but I think it's gonna turn out okay. I was a little nervous. I let the color sit for like almost an hour because it was just not changing to dark. And as you can tell, it changed to dark eventually. So anywho, um, I made a huge freaking mess. As you can tell, I cleaned my face off, but yeah, like, I'm gonna have to shower after this, so. And my bathroom is a mess. All right, guys, here we are. We are finished. It is dark, wow. But that's all right, it usually washes out. And I'm gonna do a tan so it'll look a little bit better, but this light does not do it justice. Okay, so just got to Ulta. Now the mission is to get my eyebrows done get my hair cut and get new makeup and not buy a crap ton of makeup or things that I don't need. So we'll see how this goes. Anywho. Hey guys, so I just got done with my workout. It is now light outside. So I just ran like four miles and did a bunch of walking. I honestly was super tired, but I could not fall asleep because how excited I am today. Um, yeah, and this tan, <laughs> I'm really hoping when I shower, it kind of like washes off a little bit because it looks a little orange. So um, I don't know if I could say I recommend it, but we'll see. Anywho, um, so Austin is actually uh, on his way back home. He went to go get breakfast. And so now I'm gonna make some tea and just jump in the shower and start getting ready and then packing. So we'll do the same thing that I did last time. I will show you guys what I pack. It's not gonna be really that much because we're only staying one night. But regardless, I will show you what I do because this is a self-care packing, get ready for vacation with me vlog. Okay. Anyone else do this, like this little thing right here? My husband says it's not a trash can, but like seriously, why else have it there? It's trash can. <laughs> Um, for me, but other people it might actually show up pretty good, but I did exactly as it said But this is what I used on my body and I just ordered it off of Amazon and I like this This actually does me very well, um, and it's not too horribly expensive um, for Ulta I get the Tarte um, it's like a two-in-one concealer and foundation. I really really like this. It has really good coverage. Thank God um, and I Got the Anastasia gel for eyebrows. Absolutely love this the color dark brown. 
I use this and their pencil. Love it. If you haven't tried Anastasia for brows, highly recommend. Um, and then I treated myself to this. I haven't got this in a long time. This was kind of like an impulse buy, but it's the uh, NARS um, Orgasm Blush. Absolutely love it. I think it is a beautiful color. So got the small um, just because I haven't worn it in, I don't know, like years. I really think like at least three years. So yeah, I had to get it. Okay, so a question that I get asked all the time is about my hair because it is so long. How do I get it to grow and actually stay thick? First of all, I just naturally have thick hair. I've always been this way. Um, I go through phases of when I lose it and then it grows back really fast. But how I've seen it um, grow the most is I use oils. I don't shower or wash my hair every day um, and I don't straighten it every day. So those have been the things that have helped me grow it the most. So I use like dry shampoos if I need to, but I only wash my hair three, two to three times a week um, and I don't straighten it every day. And when I do straighten it, I obviously, I put oils in it. Like I use this um, bio silk um, and I use a heat protectant as well by Chi. So these are, I mean, I've used these for years. Um, nothing too special but uh, essential oils that are good are um, it's thyme thyme um, mix a couple of drops of like a high quality thyme and drop it in some water and then you can spray it on your hair yogis use that um, and it can grow your hair out pretty long too it'll help like the damage and the split ends also if you braid your hair that helps too um, I don't do braids but I use oils sometimes. Anywho, just a uh, food for thought. Okay, so here's what we got going on for the packing situation. I'm only staying a day, guys, and this is, like, my life. <laughs> so, um, of course, like, just bringing some tennis shoes because you never know. We're going to do a bunch of walking, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to wear for dinner tonight, and that's the problem. Um, I don't know if I need to dress fancy or if it's going to be casual or what I'm going to feel like. So I brought shorts, um, and I might actually change it in the, into shorts when we get there just depends and then i brought some capris maybe to wear home for tomorrow flannel just in case like it's casual or you know i want some fall vibes um hoodie for tomorrow on the way home probably this is a maybe for dinner um i have to find the matching bra but it is essentially like if you can see it's kind of like see-through so if you wear a black bra it looks really really cool um, this is really neat because of the back, so it's a little bit fancier. And that piece over there is more fall vibes. So this is the back, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that would I would probably wear this with like shorts um, and some tennis shoes. Now this is a fun one um I'm, this was a halloween costume a long time ago like maybe six or seven years ago yeah i still kept it um we were steampunk and so this is a corset and some boots that i have um I'm, i might wear that with some shorts or a shirt because they are having a festival there it's like this fall like witchy festival it's if you know the town of eureka springs it's got some mystical vibes so people are like dressing up as like mystical creatures characters which is whatever so i thought i'd bring it just to see if i felt like doing that so we'll find out but this is the rest of the stuff just my makeup pajamas just some like maybe gym clothes just in case i wear that on the way home so just your basic stuff. I'm not going to bring all the crystals that I did last time. Uh, the reason I brought so many was because we had our own like Airbnb. I could lay them out. I could put them in the nature, all that stuff. And we were staying there for like th two days. We're only going to be in a hotel room for like a day. Like not even a day, like a couple hours. So I'll probably bring my selenite. 
Um, and then I'll probably just get crystals there. It's an excuse to get crystals. I'm not gonna bring like everything that I did. I will probably just buy more stuff there. So that is the plan. Obviously I'm still, I wear these bracelets every time um, when I go out in public. Uh, I do this like for protection, for grounding and for clear connection. I always wear my necklace and that is pretty much it. I still have to pack um, some snacks for the hotel room and I believe that would be it. So we'll see what else we get into. we are on the road we are headed to Eureka Springs I'm really excited so I don't know if I'm going to show another like do another vlog or just combine everything I'll see if if I do this is the closeout so thank you guys for watching um, hopefully you got some entertainment out of it. it really wasn't an energy work vlog like I usually do but just kind of like a self-care self-love type of vlog so anyways guys um feeling really good and i will catch you later